Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Delita with Dentistry. Here you can see classification of salivary gland tumor. This is very important topic and very important classification for BDS professional exam. Now let's get started without wasting your time. So first of all salivary gland tumor. It is given by WHO in 2005. Now the first most important is benign epithelial tumor. It means salivary gland tumor is mainly divided into two parts benign and malignant. So one by one we can discuss all these. First of all benign epithelial tumor. The first one is pleomorphic adenoma. The second is myoepithelioma. The third one is basal cell adenoma. The fourth one is Wharton's tumor. The fifth one is oncocytoma. The sixth one is canalicular adenoma. The seventh one is sebaceous adenoma. The eighth one is lymph adenoma. The ninth one is cyst adenoma. And the last but not the least, ductal papilloma. So these all are very very important benign epithelial tumor of the salivary gland tumor. Okay, now come to malignant epithelial tumor. Malignant epithelial tumor are further divided into and further classified into acinic cell carcinoma, mucoepidermoid carcinoma, adenocystic carcinoma, sebaceous carcinoma, myoepithelial carcinoma, cyst adenocarcinoma, salivary duct carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, small cell carcinoma and large cell carcinoma. These, these are very important classification of salivary gland tumor and it also includes soft tissue tumor. It means it is further divided into soft tissue tumor in which hemangioma is included in uh, soft tissue tumor and now the hemolymphoid tumor it includes Hodgkin lymphoma and the secondary tumor these are the important but not more important as compared to benign epithelial tumor and the malignant epithelial tumor so guys if you like this video then further I will share with very interesting and very important classification Okay, bye-bye.